Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Measy Mill, and I'm here today with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all my rep method. I'm a 92 overall, and I'm only 19% away from being a 93 overall. I've only been playing this game for about a month, max, probably a month, and I have basically all my badges. Repping up is real easy. I get about between 65 to 80K a game. On a really good game, I get 85K max. That's the most I've ever gotten. I'm gonna just show y'all what to do, how I rep up so fast. The first thing you wanna do in your NBA team, you wanna change the minutes of everybody. You wanna have point guard, shooting guard, small four in your center you want to have it well everybody besides you you want to have all the way up and your minutes can only go to 38 and your six man you want to have him at 10 minutes and if you are a stretch like me you want to have in your playbook the pick and fade three point fist 14 side sts this play is go to five and it'll make sure that your rep is up there every time because it's the only play that they will call during a game. You'll get your pick and fades every single game, regardless of play calling because that's the only play they have in the game because you put it there. All right, in this, in your settings, you wanna have Hall of Fame 12 minutes. That's all I play on because once you get to a high overall, your rep, The grind is real once you get to a high overall. But I'm going to hop into the game. I'm going to show y'all boys what you need to do to get this rep. All right, bro. I'm out. Now, I've categorized this rep method into three different parts. The first part is going to be pick and pop. Pick and pop is going to be your main go-to play because that is what gets you the most rep. Maxing. Maxing out your rep is the most important thing that you can do while playing this because my career gets very boring and very tedious. You don't just want to sit on playing my career for hours on end and you're only getting about 3% a game. When you can be getting 5%, 6%, 7% per game. So pick and pop and limitless threes. This is the main thing you want to be doing this play right here was the first play that I put up. This play is go to five. This, pe this play is very go to five. If you're on team takeover and you call this play, your person is gonna slip. That's why I changed to a different play. But to get to limitless, I mean, to get the team takeover is really simple. You just go up, set the screen, pop out. And it's green, it's, it's green. This play is go to five. Now, playing my career will get boring. I'm gonna say it over and over. It will get boring because you do the same thing over and over. But I'm just here to show y'all the fastest and the best way to do it. Pick and pop is your number one go-to. And make sure when you do your pick and pop that you stand limitless because it will make some things so much faster. Getting your rep, it'll be so much easier. Now in the first quarter, what you want to look to have is around 40 to 50 points because it just sets you up for the rest of the game. You'll be up. And if you want to send out by the third quarter, you can. But I normally don't because I feel like if you play the whole game and you get the max rep that you can for the most amount of points you can get, I feel like you get more rep doing that and it'll be better for you. For the second part of this rep method, whenever people are not guarding you face up and they're not directly in your face, you wanna shoot a limitless shot so you can get at least 30 limitless shots per game. Because when you do pick and pop, sometimes you aren't gonna be standing in limitless. And that's okay because there's different situations where you can't get the shot that you want. You can't get the pick and pop to go. Whenever you set a screen, your teammate goes and shoots the ball his own self or he starts to drive. But what you want to do is just stand limitless and you want to shoot it because 
it's really simple. You'll figure it out whenever what situation you are in in the game. But like right here, there's 50 seconds left and I'm close to team takeover. So I just want to get a quick shot. Whenever you're looking for just to get a quick shot, something to get your takeover to get started, things like that. That's when you want to shoot that limitless shot. Just make sure that you're standing limitless and you don't just take a shot that doesn't get you barely any rep. Make sure your shots are smart, first of all. And second of all, you want to make sure your shots have a purpose. Having a purpose for each single shot that you take to get the max rep that you can get will help you out the most. That's all you want to do is just try to score as many points as you can score. Take the most limitless shots you can make. But when you shoot your limitless, do not be guarded because the more shots that you miss, the less amount of rep that you get because you get a rep for the higher amount of percentages and the higher amount of shots that you take. Now for the third and the very final step of this rep method, what you wanna do in team takeover, you wanna shoot as many shots as you can get, honestly, but to maximize your rep, you want to take as many pick and pop shots as you can. Now, I found it as the best whenever you have your point guard to be a slasher, because whenever you set a pick and pop for your player and a slasher has the ball, the defense will normally go towards whoever has the ball and it'll leave you wide open. Or they'll do that and you'll get an illegal screen but you know how 2K is. They don't want you to be great. So you just got to create greatness yourself. Pick and pop. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. I didn't click fade. But I still go up and get two points. Every point counts when you're doing this. So whenever you're on fast breaks, what I normally do is I go down the court, give the ball to my player, and I shoot a limitless shot just to get back on defense. But on defense, what you want to do is call half court trap because that will allow the other team to score as fast as they can and you will get more shots for every game so i call pick and pop again both the defenders crash well he didn't know what he was doing he was just looking at me and i was standing there limitless wide open i take the shot and of course i'm gonna hit it so i do another go to I didn't get the limitless for that, but I just wanted to score to get another three points on the board. So I go back in fourth quarter, accidentally call a slip again, but I get an M1 and make the free throw, of course, you know. It's not green, but it's green. So let them score on defense or let them take a bad shot, whatever, when you're in team takeover. Now, sometimes they'll guard up on you whenever you try to go down the court and just shoot a limitless. You got to create your own shots or you can give it back to your point guard instead of pick and pop again. But I just wanted to be fancy, do my little move, whatever. It'll get you open, a little hesitation. Every stretch should have that little hesitation on because it'll get you open. So you can just as soon as you do the hesitation, you shoot the ball and you'll get an open or a light contest, but it won't be enough contest when you're in takeover to stop you from scoring. Again, I just go down. Normally I go straight to that hash mark and I shoot it because that that's just where I found the most consistency when playing this game. Pick and pop all day. Always maximize your pick and pops, maximize your limitless range shots. Now, I've never really passed the ball in this because I don't think I get as much rep whenever I'm passing versus shooting because I am a shooting archetype. So I shoot away. I shoot the lights out. I shoot, shoot, shoot. This is the second game I played. I recorded this a few minutes ago because I didn't feel like I had enough to show y'all exactly what I try to do. But normally on defense, when I'm in team take up, I try to bait. If I if my defender has the ball, I try to bait him into shooting so he'll take a bad shot. 
But sometimes when you're a Hall of Fame, that does not work and they will shoot the ball and go in and it, your teammate grade will go down. But you see, I'm just trying to end the game off right, trying to get a little bucket before the first quarter ends. And then my game stopped recording. But that's all fine. That's all good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Another banger dropping in two days. I post videos every other day. Stay tuned into my channel. I have a banger brown shirt video coming up. And I just want to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that because I have a lot of bangers and I have a lot of creative content coming out in the next few weeks. All right, Meezy Mill out.